In this how-to video, I will show you how to calculate the complexity of your project. Above and beyond the complexity of the code or even a design, there's a question how complex is the project to execute? What kind of a challenge it poses to the project manager or even the team? Writing software proposes using the cyclomatic complexity formula as a proxy for the execution complexity. The cyclomatic complexity formula quantifies how convoluted is the project. The cyclomatic complexity formula contrasts the number of activities and their interdependencies. And obviously, the more interdependencies you have, the more complex the project. The secondary element is how many independent projects or networks you actually have. And the cyclomatic complexity puts it all together. In order to run the formula, you have to have, of course, a list of dependencies and activities and parts in your network. In this demo, I would use the case study from chapter 11. Literally any initial list of dependencies and activities is good. You can start with the Microsoft project. You can start with Excel. And so here is the normal solution from chapter 11. We can see the activities and we can see the dependencies. I'm copying it to a separate spreadsheet over here. And the first thing I'm doing is I'm reducing the dependencies. Sometimes you're going to have superfluous dependencies that are already inherited by other dependencies, some kind of transit dependencies. Those would just increase the complexity calculation for no good reason. So you carefully go over the network and you come up with the most reduced dependencies. Now quite often you actually want to have additional dependencies in your project file or even Excel in case you have resource dependencies or some dependencies that are important from the semantic of the network. But for complexity, you have to remove them. So the first thing you do, you carefully traverse the things and make sure that there's no uh, additional dependencies. The next thing you need to do is you need to count how many activities you actually have here. Now this is a simple project. You can actually see that there's two activities over here. But what if instead of 20, you have 200 or 2,000 activities? So it's a good idea to automate it. So what you could do is you could use this expression in Excel. What this Excel expression is doing it actually passes the cell to the left and counts how many uh, comma delineated uh, elements there are. And as a result, it can actually calculate how many activities we have. And that's basically what this formula is doing. Once we have that, we can actually find the total number of dependencies in the project, which is just the sum of these activities. And of course, the number of activities is just the count of activities in the project. The rest is a simple Excel formula that takes the number of dependencies, subtracts the number of activities, and add two times the number of parts. In this case, it's just one big uh, network. And so the complexity in this project is 12. But the same way, you can tackle even very complex project networks and calculate their complexity. For more on project design, see writing software.